Welcome back. In this video, we're going to do quick and easy venison enchiladas, and we're going to use canned deer meat. If you guys can your own deer meat, you're going to love this recipe. It's fast and easy using that good can of deer meat that you did. If you guys aren't canning your deer meat already, I'll put a link up there in the cards to a video to show you how to do it. It doesn't take a tremendous amount of gear, and once you have it, you own it forever. And canning deer meat's great. Check this out. No refrigeration needed. This meat's been in this jar for almost two years. And it's perfectly fine with no refrigeration. So hit that subscribe button down there. Check this out. So let's start with the basic ingredients for this super simple dish. We've got two pints of canned venison, a 7 ounce can of chopped green chilies, Old El Paso, and two cans, 19 ounces of the red enchilada sauce. And you're going to need a casserole dish just the right size to fit the flour tortillas we're going to use in this recipe. When you crack the lid to your canned venison, if you've got some venison fat floating on it, discard that. Venison fat is not very tasty. Just get rid of that, as much of it as you can anyway. No big deal. And I like to drain mine off. That broth that's in there, just for some reason, gives me indigestion. Now obviously canned venison can be a little tough to open. Guess what? Can opener makes it pretty easy. We're still going to drain that off. And this is where it starts getting easy. Just unceremoniously dump that meat in your pan. Again, I'm using two pints. You can make a smaller batch or bigger batch, depending on what you need for your family. Now dump that can of chopped green chilies in there. Now I like to take the red enchilada sauce and go ahead and warm that up. It also helps cook it down a little bit and reduce it some to make it a little bit thicker. Right, when your pan starts getting hot, just go ahead and use your spatula to bust up these big chunks. This is going to turn into almost like a barbecue consistency. At the same time, we'll be mixing in those nice green chilies too. Now this store-bought canned enchilada sauce is pretty mild. So if you want to kick it up a notch, make it a little spicier, a little bit of red cayenne pepper will do a good job for that. But be careful with it. This is a lot of back end heat. A little goes a long way. Also put a little extra black pepper in there too. Just because I like black pepper. And that will also put a little, little more front end on it. Front end heat. Now that canned venison is going to break up real good. Now naturally you could do this with chicken. You could shred chicken. You could shred beef. Pork. There's no rules. I'm just making this with canned venison because I got right much of it. And we're always looking for something new to do with it. And found out we really like this. This is our favorite thing to do with canned venison. Alright, so once you got that broke up pretty good, we're going to go ahead and add in some of that second can of enchilada sauce. Not a lot, doesn't take a lot. And again, just a little, very little sprinkle of a little cayenne. Now, you better be sure you like spicy if you're going to fool with this. I just wanted a little. So that's all we're putting in there as well. Very little. Not even an eighth of a teaspoon, I'm telling you. And you'll notice that meat really just sucks that enchilada sauce right up. That's exactly what we want it to do. And all you're doing is getting this hot. You don't have to cook it. So there you go. It's hot. On to the next step. Take the casserole dish and put just enough of the enchilada sauce in there to cover the bottom. This will not even be a quarter inch. Just a little bit. And then put the rest of it in that pot to get good and hot and reduce a little bit. Now while you're doing this next part, go ahead and set your oven to 350 degrees and let it be preheated. And this next part is kind of like an art project, so you might as well crack your favorite beer. Now if you're liking this video so far, go ahead and give me that thumbs up like button now while you're thinking about it. We are using the Mission Carb Balance Flour Tortillas in this. Pop your little tortilla down. We're just going to build these things and put them right in this dish. A nice little layer of meat right in the middle. Make sure you get it all the way to the end. I'm using a little Colby Jack cheese in there. Now we're just going to take this enchilada and roll that thing up. Tuck everything in with your fingers. Roll it up pretty snug. Not really tight, but kind of snug. 
and place that in the pan up on one edge just like that and we are simply going to keep doing that until we have that pan filled up <laughs> I'm going to even these out a little bit in here. There's not enough room for another one. That's fine. Put that extra cheese in there. Now take that thickened spicy enchilada sauce and just cover up this whole thing. Alright, what you want to do is just have all the tortillas coated in the sauce. And it's going to be fairly full of sauce and that's fine. But once you got everything coated good, we're going to top that off with some more cheese. I'm using just shredded Colby Jack for this. You can use whatever cheese you like. But again, this is supposed to be simple, fast, and easy. And you can put as much or as little cheese on there as you want. You know I'm putting a lot of cheese on there. I like to put mine on a pan so it's a little easier to handle. And into that oven at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. Twenty minutes later. And through the magic of YouTube, 20 minutes. Ooh, look at that. Man, that looks perfect. Now I'm going to recommend that you let this rest for five or ten minutes before you start serving it up. And I'll tell you one thing. The absolute hardest one to get out is that first one. Actually, that worked out better than usual. Look at there. Now that is one good looking enchilada. This whole thing doesn't take 15 minutes to put together and about 20 minutes in the oven and you're ready to go plus leftovers depending on how big your family is. In fact, these venison enchiladas are so good, they'll make you want to hit one with your car. And don't forget, there's a link to how to can your venison up there in the cards that you can check out. Make sure you've given me that thumbs up like button if you haven't already and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there and hit the bell icon to turn on those notifications so you don't miss videos like this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. I'll tell you one thing, the absolute hardest one to get out is that first one. It usually ends up being a mess. If you're trying to make something good for a photogenic shot, good luck. Actually, that worked out better than usual. Look at there. All right. We got Jackie's out. Now it's time to get mine out. And I'm going for a double. Yeah! Not gonna be as photogenic, but I want that extra sauce. Look at that.